us cyclists tend to get competitive. Okay. Some of us very competitive. Yeah, faster times, higher power, lighter weight, aerodynamics. Well, these are all buzzwords that seem to get our pulses racing. But on the top of a good pulse is a lower heart rate, something we should be aiming for. And does a lower heart rate actually mean you're a fitter cyclist? Hey, it's funny you say that. It's a question I've always asked myself, and I think it's about time we found out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, ah! There are two things to think about here, resting and active heart rate. Your beats per minute when you're resting, that's when you're sitting, lying, doing nothing, not exercising, and then how fast your heart is beating per minute when you're active, exercising, riding your bike. Yeah, most adults will have a resting heart rate of around 60 to 100 BPM, and as you start exercising, well, that will start to rise. Men actually have a lower resting heart rate on average than women, plus when you get older, your resting heart rate does tend to increase slightly. Yeah, it's generally believed that uh, your resting heart rate is equivalent to being fitter, which is right, but it does vary from person to person. Put simply, when we exercise, the blood flow to and from our muscles increases. And as a result, the blood volume passing through our heart also increases. Now, over time, as we exercise more and more and get fitter, that left ventricle in our heart actually adapts to this and enlargens, meaning that with every heartbeat, our heart can push more blood around the body, meaning it requires less beats to keep the same blood volume pumping around our body. So as we get fitter, we actually require less heartbeats at a certain intensity. In fact, away from exercise, lower heart rate is actually associated with a low risk of death, as backed up by Dr. Martin Jensen and his researchers at the University of Copenhagen. Even something like a regular brisk walk can lower your resting heart rate by 10 or 12 beats. The US Department of Health and Human Services puts the average resting heart rate for those in exceptional athletic states at under 60 beats per minute for both males and females under the ages of 79, and an average resting heart rate of under 81 beats per minute for all under the age of 79. One thing to bear in mind though, that if your resting heart rate is in excess of 100 BPM, now this could be a sign of some health problems. And on the flip side, if it's lower, your resting heart rate is lower than 60 BPM, then this could be something called bradycardia. And if it's anything like that, then we definitely recommend that you seek some health advice. Aside from age and fitness level, these are actually all factors that can increase your resting heart rate. So high BMI, smoking, caffeine, alcohol, sleep deprivation, air temperature, even whether you measure your resting heart rate sitting down or, or lying. Yeah, stress can also be one to raise your heart rate. And it's said that Whoop did a report on this because they saw the people that reported that they had stress was one BPM higher, which really says something, doesn't it? So when we ride, does it then follow that those with a lower heart rate when chugging up those hills are actually fitter? Well, no. Threshold heart rate is the maximal heart rate that you can sustain for 10 to 60 minutes. And having a low or high threshold heart rate doesn't actually relate to your athletic performance. It's actually very individual and crucially, it's not depicted upon your age either. Cardiac output, pulmonary function, VO2 max, strength, even the size of your body, they're all factors that determine how fast your heart needs to be to supply the right amount of oxygen to your muscles at higher exercise intensities. Yeah, there is actually thinking that a younger heart is more compliant to change in adaptation. And as you get older, it gets less compliant to that change. So if you're 40 or 50, but you've got high threshold heart rate, that could actually be because you maintained a good, healthy lifestyle when you were younger. Isn't that right, Connor? That's right. As we get fitter, we can ride at higher intensities and heart rates for less lactate. Essentially what we're doing is we can uptake that lactate more efficiently. What we're really looking for here is to have that threshold heart rate to be a high percentage of our max heart rate. You got it? Yeah, hope so. 
So heart rate isn't something that we should compare from person to person, like power data or hill climb times, but it is something that we should be aware of ourselves, keep track of our own fitness and health levels. And if you'd like to know more about how to train with your own heart rate, do check out this previous video which we did on the channel. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below if you've seen a change in your heart rate since you got fitter. We'd be liked, well, we'd definitely like to know. Let us know in the comment section below and uh, well, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give us a thumbs up and um, might leave you hanging. Yeah, thanks, Mind your bike, it just fell down a bit. Cheers, mate. Thanks, that's, everyone. That's see you soon. That's actually hard, my heart rate.